Hello and welcome back to Ice and Fire episode 13, where in this episode we're going to be stepping away from Batania and the base, and we're going in there. <laughs> not the favorite, not, not the place that I want to be the most, um, but we have things we need to prepare for. I am over here, just currently breaking apart a bunch of iron ore to... Excuse me? You're not supposed to be down here. Okay, let's get out of here. It's good. It, 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 it's kind of it's kind of loud down here, not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, today we will be going to the nether because we need to find a fortress. And the reason for that is because I need to find... Where are you? Wither bones. And of course, the reason for why I need the wither bones is because I need wither bones shards. Because I need them for... Okay, not that. <laughs> I need them for the dragon bone arrows, and also because I uh, hold on, do that. Uh -huh. And also, wait, no, you. There we go. Because I want to start making some dragon bone tools and weapons. I want to get a dragon very, very soon, which will require me to be able to kill a dragon. And I feel like I need a better bow than this normal. One that doesn't even have enchantments on it. Speaking of enchantments, we have 32 levels right here, and I think it is time that we enchant our city site chest plate because that is the one with the most durability at this point in time. So I think we should go ahead and do that. All right, what do we get? Void floating. You know what? I that sounds interesting. I'm gonna take it. <laughs> no idea if this is gonna be good or not. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll gladly take this. Protection 3, Unbreaking 3, Void Floating 3, and Thorns 2. I have no idea what the Void Floating does. Uh, no description. Yeah, no nothing. It's okay. Looks cool, though. But yes, we are heading into the nether to find a fortress once and for all. Which will require me to, of course, have a little bit more food on me than what I have currently. Not that I have too much on me already. Were I not cooking? Huh. I was sure that I was cooking cooked potatoes. Was I not? Huh. Clearly not. Time for some farming, I guess. Ah, uh, there's the potatoes and the corn, I suppose. Why not? Potatoes. I really need to get some more of these potatoes. I need to get a proper farm going with these potatoes because these are pretty much everything that I eat. Can I cook these like just literally in the oven and get like cooked corn? No. But they do restore three, so that's pretty good. All right, I'd say that is probably good enough on the food side of things, hopefully. Quickly gonna cook up those uh, potatoes. I don't think there's anything else I need to prepare for. I have my pig eggs, I have my Thai trident. I have my, you know what, new shovels and axes is probably not going to be a bad idea. So let me make that. Let me get properly prepared and I will be right back. I need to get used to actually having a backpack for my stuff. I can put like shears in here. I can have food. I can have my bed in here. Water bucket is probably a good idea to have on me. Like this can free up a bunch of inventory space. All right. Food is done, and you know what, I'm just gonna leave these apricots here for another time because I will have these baked potatoes with me. I think this is good, you know what, just gotta, just might as well grab the corn. All right, now, here's how we're gonna do it, because I know myself, I am gonna record a bunch of stuff on the way, and this video will be 30 minutes long, simply getting to, a fir to another fortress. So, I'm gonna go through, then I'm gonna cut, and then I'll be back, and only come back if something really, really interesting happens. So that we max spend two minutes at most on this journey. So the rest can be focused on getting the stuff that I want to make with this stuff, and the actual with the bones. So, I've been in those directions. I've really been in that direction. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll be right back. Now I can tell you right now that that is not the place I want to go. But that looks like a fortress to me. So, um, yeah. 
Looks like I'm just gonna have to wing it, I suppose. Uh, this is not gonna be pleasant, and this is also going to be actual, actually quite deadly. Um, those blue floating thingies are actually capable of attacking, so... I should also make sure no piglets can come in from behind using weird invisibility bug. Oh, here comes it. Nope. Okay, with a good enough weapon, aka my trident, this shouldn't be too difficult. You know what, I'm just, I'm just gonna, you know what, we're just gonna run it. Uh, soul sand, why? Just gonna wing it, run through, run through, nothing to see here, another guy with juicy blood, oh no, there's two of them. Nope. Also kind of forgot this was Piglet Central. Okay, so far so good, I see another one in the horizon. And it's coming. Oh no, I made it. Uh huh. Now I just gotta dig to the other side. And I should be good. Alright. I think I made it past the Crimson Forest. Um, not my favorite place in the world. It already wasn't in 1.16. I mean, the place is cool and all, but definitely not my favorite. Due to all the piglins and hoglins. But uh, now, with those mosquitoes. Uh, definitely on my least liked. <laughs> if it were already wasn't there, it is now. Okay. And we're here. I was just about to say, where's my achievement? Alright. Well, I guess with the skeletons... Here I come. And hopefully some good loot as well. Now, I have no idea if any, like, weird mobs is gonna spawn in this place. So, this is going to be fun. Ooh, I see my target. Okay, is that the same fortress, or is this, like, just really close? I mean, I'm not going to complain. Also, what's my rent distance at 2? 16. Looked like it was a lot more than that, but apparently it isn't. All right, I'm literally only here for the with the skeletons. Maybe a few blaze rods on the way, but, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Oh, that's a lot of them. Hey, fellas. Oh, no. This could end. This could... This, this, this could end bad. Oh, hello. Hmm. I am not invincible. Even though I'd like to think I am. I'm not. Oh, we already have one. Nice. What's that? Withered Rip. I can make with a skeleton skulls? Well, that is if I have a skeleton skull. Well, that's cool. And a bunch of weird stuff from Reliquary, or whatever the name is. Hello, buddy. Goodbye, buddy. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna keep this one right here in my uh, my hotbar so we can keep an eye on how many we actually have. Yeah, please come down from that ledge. Right, I do not have looting on this thing, unfortunately. Um, but hopefully just walking back and forth should give us enough of them, so that we can... Hello? You're a what now, exactly? Oh, okay, apparently it cannot fly. You know what? I'm fine with that. That is totally okay with me. Okay, so it seems like we're going inside. There's more over there? It cannot be this one that's, like, just this big. It's... it cannot be. I'm gonna try and get on the outside here, because... It's probably where they will spawn. Let's take a look. Oh. Okay. Guess going on the outside is, um... Not gonna work. Guess I'm going down here. Okay, hopefully this is going to result in some chests. Um, I'll be back. Oh, here yeah, we can see something. Nope, it's a separate one. Okay. I mean, I won't complain. I will not complain. And this leads right out to the outside. Nah, nope. I'm gonna go back in. <laughs> ah, hello there. That's just one. Cool. Oh, hello. Get a brother. Oh, come on. That's not necessary, is it? Oh, he had a cousin. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Oh, he had a... Uh, uncle. Let's go with that. How? 
I need to be more careful. <laughs> okay. Are there more? I hear normal skeletons. Oh boy. Hello. Okay, there's obviously a bunch of them on top. But let's check out the chest. That looks interesting. I mean, I assume it's just a normal chest, but one of these uh, mods have replaced the metal chest. Hello. Ooh, another one. Yes, perfect. Please give another. Ow. Okay, we have two now. I'm not. Okay. Okay, hello. Ooh, that was two right around the corner, Heidi. Oh, I forgot you guys can't actually get through. Ah, hey, yes, Doc. That, that, that joke's on you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. That was scary. But I do need to remember that I need to take this nether ward actually. Because I don't believe I have that and I need it. We'll set up a little bit of a growing area for this stuff back home. I'm actually going to grab the sand as well because I don't want to take any other stops once we go back home. Alright, should be good. Alright, there's still a lot above me. Let's quickly check this chest. We have Molten Core. You know what, let's disable that. Uh, more Nether Wart. It's a suspicious can of beans. Magenta Rune, Pink Rune and Golden Horse Armor. And I'm gonna take the chest because it looks cool. I don't know how to actually make this, but um, right. It sounds a little bit deadly to go outside, but I'm gonna try it. I think I can go up here. Aha, uh -huh, yes I can. Then just go here. Okay, well, there's one there. One there, two more. Okay, this should be doable. This should be doable as long as I don't get shut down. Okay, so if I drop here, I could easily get tra- I would like that not to happen, thank you. Now the question is, if they see me, will they jump down to me? They most likely will. Okay. Oh, we have normal skeletons on the field, okay. Whoop. That skeleton shot its friend. Okay, come on, come on down, come on down. Ow. <laughs> it hurts. Okay, there's actually still a lot up here, so I'm gonna be careful not to hurt anyone's feelings. You know what? This time, there's like five over here. Look at that. Stay back. That's another bone. Perfect. Uh, no, thank you. I would rather not. Oop. Hello. Oh, there's so many here. This fortress is literally perfect for this. Okay, fellas, come on over here. Where it's a little bit safer for me to uh, to do my stuff. Okay, you're down. You're down. You're down. Alright. So far, so good. Seven bones. Not too bad. Uh, hello there. Oh, okay, goodbye. Well, where's these other ones? They have to be down where I literally just came from. Right? Have we even been in here? I don't think I've been here yet. Like, I've been in there, but I... Oh, that's where I came from originally, I think. Well, either way... I need to get down here. I need... to introduce myself. Maybe not. Okay, that guy didn't even drop one. You know what? We'll, we'll make it in there eventually. Right? We'll make it in there eventually. Ow. Found another one. Oh! We even got a Wither Skeleton Skull. That's good. That's pretty good, actually. Okay. Right, so they're above us in this room. I want to go down and see if there's more chests we can loot, potentially. Well, look what we have here. Light rune, rune. More runes. More cans of beans. Alright, sure, why not? And an exit. Nice. Alright, this is a room that I came from originally, and uh, there's a bunch here. Can't see anything from the smoke. There's one up there. I would really like not to get attacked from behind. 
You're gone. Not on the bridge. Alright. Clear. They're above me as well. Oh, that, that was something. That's a normal skeleton. Don't care about you. Pretty sure that was... Yeah, that was my boost. <laughs> Uh, that's annoying. Okay. I'm now that little less protected now from the environment. That's lovely. Oh, hello. Lace rod, thank you. I'm gonna need those for something eventually. Alright, let's go outside. Oh, no. Hey, fella. Nope. Switching to the shield. Which, when I did it, had no effect. Great. Okay, let's go back to this place real quick. Yes, I need. There's actually one more on the roof over there. All right, four, 15 minutes into the video, I'm gonna cut here, and I'll be back when I have like maybe four, fifteen, twenty bones or something. I'm not sure how many I want, but how many does um, that results in five arrows? I would like a stack. So I think maybe like twenty. I think 20 of these bones should do the trick, so let me do this and I'll be right back. If I live this long, that is. Found another chest, let's see what's in it. Oh, two diamonds! Like grey rune, green rune. We really need to figure out what we can do with these runes. Because they look cool. They're from... Any enchantment. I don't understand. Like, do they just color the item? It seems like they just color the item, but I don't know. Again, I'll have to uh, look into what they actually do. But anyways, just found the chest. Thought I'd share. All right, situation is a little bit complicated at the moment. There's like, okay, there were like two before. But yeah, there's this guest over here. Oh, the place actually fixed a lot of my problems. There were with a skeleton over here before, but uh, how? He's apparently gone now. But I have decided to cut it at 15 because I've done a bunch of calculations and I think that should be enough. <laughs> um, so yeah, and I can get out of here even quicker. Only issue is I can't really use the shield together with the um, with the trident, unfortunately. So it's a bit of an issue. I killed one of those ghost thingies and I got a soul bed. Yeah. I don't know what that does. <laughs> All right, 15 wither bones have been acquired. Hopefully that should be enough. There's a few more actually on the on the way over home. Okay, that's complicated. Uh, got it with it again. Oh, we now have 16. Yay! Hopefully that should be enough. Uh, run past the big guy. Run, run, run. Ooh, even more. Why? Okay. Oh, this is good. Oh, I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. Okay, somehow I actually avoided that. Get on my face. Get a snap. Oh, hello. That was supposed to hit him. Okay. Now we should be good to go home. Hopefully. I'm gonna. I, I miss home. Where I don't get shot at every five seconds. You know what? While we're here, I might as well help myself to this gold. Hello. Oh, oh no. Hello. 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 Pause. <laughs> Take this. Use the pickaxe. Use the pickaxe. There you are. Die. Eat. I see you. Okay. I'm good. That thing attacked me. Okay. Right. How about we just forget the gold and go home and craft our stuff? Yeah, you, 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 scree to you too. Get me home, get me home, get me home, get me home, please. Please. No, quickly. Teleport. Teleport you. No, oh, come on. Oh, great. Now they're waiting for me on the other side. Okay, here we go. This has been quite a journey. Alright. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. And of course, it's night time. Oh, yeah, that's it. That could be an issue. Okay. Let me organize my inventory and let's sleep. Ah, nice, comfy bed. All right, we are home now. I have organized my inventory. And if you know what else these runes can be used for, please do let me know. Apparently, they're from Quark. Um, and it looks like you use them to color enchanted items. But I have no idea. I don't know. I will look up on it at myself as well. But uh, if you know how to use these and what these are for, please do let me know down in the comments below. Your help is very much appreciated. Also, I'm going to set up a little bit of a growing area for Nether Ward. I don't know where. Um, you know what? I like this spot right here. I see a little bit of a something. I thought I saw something. Okay. Uh, yes, a spot like this should be fine. And then grow some nether wood on it. So we can use it for our things, because I'm sure it is used for quite a lot of stuff. Also in Batania, and in fact, I think we need that. Yeah, we need the rune of fire as well, so... Good. I may need more soul sand, though. Oh, why? Fine. Guess what? I'm back! And they don't like me anymore, they did than when I left. Just please get me a bunch of soap. Uh, and done. I'm just gonna plant another wart. Come on. Perfect. That's a nice little batch of another wart, I'd say. All right, that is test number one done. Let's just put this stuff in here. And now we come to the fun part where we need to use these wither bones. Now I just remembered. Right, of course. Of course, you need dragon bones in order to make the dragon arrows. Right. Well, uh, that's interesting now, isn't it? I need at least two dragon bones and one with a bone in order to make a dragon bone bow. I don't even have enough strength. Wait, how do I not have it? How do I how do I not have enough strength? Excuse me. There we go. Now I have enough. Yeah. Okay. Let's make a dragon <laughs> dragon bone bow. Hopefully that is actually what it's called, and I'm not just making some weird name up. Dragon bone bow. Nice. That is already an up. Actually, it can't use normal arrows, can it? No, it cannot. All right. I will still need my normal bow. I will, in fact, put it in here. That is good. That is an upgrade, and I'm actually going to enchant it as well. Let's do that right away. Three lapis lazuli. And what do we get? Unbreaking three. Just have to do it. Hopefully it's good. Hunting three unbreaking? What does hunting do? Uh, better default biomes? Okay. Um, not sure what that does. I will have to read up on that. Um, but what we can also make is this right here. Dragon bone arrows. And that is what is going to help us a lot. So, okay, here's what we're gonna do. The episode is about 24 minutes long, which is exactly how I want it. I like it. Um, so we're gonna call it an episode here, guys. And in the next episode, I think we will, we will go over to, whoa, it grows fast. We will go over to where there are dragons. We will go on a mission. We need more dragon bone skeletons. We need more dragon skeletons. So we will go over there and look for dragon uh, dragon skeletons. Hopefully not die in the progress pro process. I'm gonna see if maybe, maybe I can make some weird potion or something that may be able to help us. Um, so we can make all of the dragon boat arrows that we want, because I do need a few. And then I think we will uh, wrap a few things up for the big fight. Because then after that, I want to fight a dragon. And I know a little bit of trick we can use to see if there are any uh, dragon caves under the ground or by the savannah. So that is the plan. Next episode, get dragon bone, uh, get dragon bone bones, and also wrap a few things up. I want to finish that because I really need to quickly get that exo flame in, so I don't have to manually fuel that thing. So that is important. I get that done so it could just sit there and generate while I'm not fiddling with Botania. And I also want to expand this farm just a little bit, just a tiny bit. It's not going to be anything huge, it's going to be quick. 
want to designate an area for trees, maybe, and also a place for, like, my potatoes. Oh, that's a lot of fish. Potato, corn, and industrial herb seeds, etc. Because this right here, this is starting to not be good enough. I need a slight bigger place. So that is on the to-do list for next episode. And then next, next episode, Dragonflight. I think that's a good plan, and I hope you guys agree. But anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. I really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Also, join my Discord server. Link down below in the description. Um, and also, if you wish to get access to this mod pack uh, and support me in a great way as well, there's a link to my Patreon down below in the description. But that's going to be it. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one, which is going to be quite exciting and also quite... Oh boy, quite quite nerve-wracking, because um, I don't want to die. I don't want to get eaten alive by a weird dragon, so hopefully it goes well. But anyways, hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and good... My, that didn't go. And goodbye. That's better. <laughs> Contra la nave, ruta así, Zapu.